Hi guys, it's Mary from Glimpse and Beyond. I hope you're having an amazing week. We got another fantastic question from Becca. Thank you, Becca. I love how your mind works. Bear with me, because you know me. I gotta read and answer at the same time. Whew. This one's kind of long, you guys, but super interesting. So, she wants to know about are the cubes that were in like the movies Endgame and Avenger movies part of Metatron's push onto us humans. Oh, that one's so hard, Becca. All right. Just the messenger, folks. All right. Metatron is not real. Okay, I know that everyone sees all these Metatron angels and it's not, you guys. Yeah. Let's say the other side put it there purposefully to try and distract us. Okay, so not real, Becca. Not real, not real, not real, not real. Okay, so. She's like, on, on going on to another part. It was a push onto humanity, but we didn't fall for it, Becca. So don't, don't worry about it. I'm so sorry, you guys. I can't be keep repeating things. Don't worry about it. Okay. So she's like, on this part, I am not a huge movie person for the most part, and I mix so many movie titles up. But having older kids' movies and popcorn, they all have loved for recreation. Bear with me. She's like, does this cube-shaped house foundation that we now live in, because most of the houses are cube-shaped. You guys have realized that, right? And a lot of newer buildings in cities, especially weird cities. New York City, L.A., Washington DC, those types of cities, okay? They have cube structures in them. Okay, she's like, um, does that distort our human and expanded energy for taxes for humanity? It did for a while. They were placed there on purpose and it's kind of due to Saturn, which is their ruling planet. So yeah, bye, they'll be going away. I'm not sure how, Becca, but they're just, no one's going to pay attention. We've all moved beyond that point. Oh, yay, I love that so much. We've all moved beyond that point. <laughs> okay. Oh, I love hearing that. Okay. And then she's like, I know from Native American history, okay, and a few of her elder teachings that their tribe houses were always round. Absolutely. They're round because they're infinite. There's no beginning and no ending. Foundations of the home, whether they were made with sticks or not. Sorry guys, trying to read off my phone. I apologize. Or other natural man-made fur furs. They were the sweetest lodges around and the foundations, the sacred circle of life, exactly. No beginnings and no ends. And they did always use sacred materials. Whenever you gather stuff from the earth, like wood, even it's a sacred material because Mother Earth is gifting that to us to, to use, okay? Oh, that's so nice. She said, like, they were all made of natural materials, like even buffalo. I said, absolutely. And that was sacred. That was sacred material. She's like, I used to sleep in teepees when she was young. How interesting. I love teepees. I love teepees. I think they're fantastic. She's like, e even on the cold, hard winter ground, like she would sleep so peacefully, even with dogs and wolves. It, it didn't matter. Even the ice homes, the, the igloos are made with round foundations. There's a reason for that, Becca, because it's, it's infinite, like no beginnings, no endings. I love that. I love how your mind's working. She's 
She's like, this would be of importance and also needed information. If I have time and elaborate on these cubes, houses versus shape and structure for we the modern. Truly, they do not know the ways. That's very true, Becca, but everything old is coming back again. Like, we're going, I keep telling you, we're turning back. We're going back. We're going back to seeking knowledge and learning things for ourselves, so we're going to know this, all right? The square things are kind of going to go away. Not so much houses, because many people can't live in a round house, just because there's so many out there. But, like, as we go building forward, you might see that a lot, and they're going to be more into the earth. That's kind of exciting though, into the earth because your temperature would always be stable. That's so nice. Great thinking, Becca, I love it. All right, you guys, if you have any questions, drop them down below, please. Hit like, share, subscribe. All right, guys, bye.